beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled today to have you back on my channel for our December mini palette series. If you haven't caught it yet, we've already dived into the enchanted world of green eyeshadow palettes in a previous video, and that video is already live. In today's video, get ready to embrace the warmth of burgundy shades as we go through all of the stunning palettes that I have in my collection that have burgundy tones, um, both mattes and shimmers, that would help you to create your upcoming holiday looks. I do consider burgundy somewhat a neutral color. I use the burgundy shades all year round. I think it's beautiful and flattering on all skin tones. So today I will show you my collection of all the palettes that would have burgundy shimmers and mattes and I will show you swatches. I do have just over 20 palettes in front of me today to share with you and I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you see some of your favorites and also comment underneath this video if you have your favorite burgundy palette that you use and cherish in your collection and also let me know if you like burgundy tones at all. What are your thoughts? If you have additional questions or comments throughout this video, don't hesitate to leave them underneath this video. I would love to chat with you there. But before we get started, if you're new here, hello, my name is Eve and I love all things beauty. Here on my channel, I share about beauty and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week in the month of December. There is a high chance you will be seeing more videos than usual. We will be here for a little bit talking about eyeshadow palettes. So grab your favorite drink, snuggle up, and let's begin. Before we get started, I would love to do a small disclaimer. My channel is considerably small still, and most of my makeup I purchased myself. There are a few palettes here and there that I would receive in PR, and I would put the info for you here on the screen. That way you know which palette came to me in PR. And uh, if I have any discount codes, I will also pop them here on the screen for your information. And I always have all the discount codes and links uh, in the info box for you underneath this video and also I have them linked in the header of my Instagram at all times. I have just over 20 palettes to share with you today. They are a little bit different. I do have some they're more affordable palettes. Then I have some luxury brands here than anything in between. I do have some indie brands, some a little bit more monochromatic palettes and some would only have like a portion of burgundy tones that would still allow you to create those beautiful burgundy berry tone looks for the holidays for any time of the year really. So hopefully you will see something that inspires you or maybe you have been looking for a burgundy palette to add to your collection. I will show you some of the swatches so it will give you a little bit better idea of textures and of course I will be talking about quality overall. So I want to begin with this Moira Celestial Love palette. I purchased my palette from Amazon but Moira also has their own website. This is definitely a palette that is way more neutral. However, this burgundy shade is definitely going to give you that burgundy berry tone type of vibe on your eyelids. And as you can see, the shade is very, very reflective and smooth. I have a few of these eyeshadow palettes and I really enjoy the quality. The shimmers are beautiful and reflective and sparkly. This is definitely the palette for a neutral lover. But if you like to have just a little bit of something burgundy and rosy on your eyelids, this is a very great palette. It's also very user friendly. So just if you're new, two eyeshadow palettes I feel like this is a really nice option. So the next eyeshadow palette that I really love in my collection is from the nude line from Huda Beauty Nude Rich. This palette definitely is more monochromatic and gives you a variety of different burgundy shades. Some of them uh, lean a little bit more purple as you can see on this one but some of these shimmers let me just swatch this one also for you. So I really love the quality of this eyeshadow palette. It definitely gives you that burgundy vibe with a little bit of neutrality. There's also a really nice depth in this palette and you have your inner corner highlight so you can definitely do full complete look with this palette. I know that by the end of the video uh, my fingers and all my hands are definitely going to be very stained. So let's get to uh, this palette next, Ace Beauté Ambience palette. This palette definitely fits in two different categories because it's your fall theme and I specifically wanted to include this here because this row is a very very pretty and definitely leans towards the burgundy slightly bit purple. I just think the quality of this palette is spectacular. The mattes, the shimmers, there's so much pigment. Definitely a palette that I like to reach for for those very rich holiday, very festive uh, burgundy-ish looks. And of course in this palette you get a lot of different full colors. The next palette I want to talk about is Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge. This is a newly launched palette to this year. I think it was launched in summer. And specifically this row, I do have a reel with a look tutorial on my Instagram. So I just want to swatch some of these shades for you to show you the reflect. The mattes here are very, very pigmented, but they're also very easy to work with. Like if you wanted just a wash of color, just blend it out, sheer it out, you definitely can. This shade, oh my God, so beautiful. The shimmers I also love. They're very smooth and reflective. They almost feel like a little bit buttery, but they're also very thin. And um, I really love this quality of this palette. I definitely want to try more from the brand. I'm very, very intrigued by this brand. The quality is exceptionally good. And uh, 
these berry tones are just stunning. So if you are not new to my channel, you probably have already seen this palette many times. This is a Read My Mind from Nabla. This is a pretty neutral color story, but I absolutely love this section right here. I do have a look on my Instagram where you can see where I wore a very nice monochromatic look using this palette. What I wanted to say is that this palette actually has different shimmer formulas. This is a duochrome. This one is a topper. This one is a little bit more like rusty color. It's not necessarily a burgundy, but it gives you a variation. I really struggled to show you the reflect on this shade because of the lighting around me. But this is a duochrome shade, rose gold to actual pink, and it's gorgeous. It's such a stunning shade, looks wet on your lids. And this is a beautiful topper that does have a slight rosy effect. Let me see if I can swatch this and give you a little bit better understanding. It is a topper, so it definitely is harder to see on camera, but this is the duochrome one. This is my favorite shade in the entire palette. I hope the camera catches, but it does have a shift of rosiness, but also like the rose gold. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade. And when you pair them with these burgundies, stunning. Another good part about this type of palette is that if you are not fully comfortable with full burgundy monochromatic looks, you can always tone them down with some of your neutrals that you're comfortable with and that way give you a little bit of color but yet not overwhelm yourself. Another palette in my collection that I really enjoy is the Dreamy palette from Nabla again. It does have some neutrality however it does have some beautiful like rosy tones and also has a little bit of purple which I appreciate. I do have a a look tutorial with this palette on my Instagram that is actually quite burgundy and very beautiful and smoky, perfect for holidays. So if you're curious what you can do with this palette, check that out on my Instagram. And I think that is also on my TikTok account. But this is stunning. Like again, if you are a neutral lover, but you love a little bit of elevated, colorful look. This is a perfect palette for a neutral level because you have somewhat neutral base here. And then you have some of these colors that would make your look different. I love this palette. It's probably one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Since we're talking about Nabla, this is another mention from the brand. This is a Wild Berry. I believe this palette is still available. This is a little bit more curated, monochromatic, and you get amazing shimmers here. This is definitely more punchy, pulling a little bit more like fuchsia purple, but these colors are just so beautiful and the shimmers are out of this world. They are so beautiful, smooth, they're high shine and glossy on lids. One of my favorite formulas period for the shimmers and these ones are just beautiful. It doesn't really swatch that great but on eyes there's absolutely no issue with this formula. There are some palettes here that you will see that do not swatch the greatest but they are amazing quality to work on the eyes once you do the makeup looks and I absolutely have to show you these ones, this is one of them. And this is my favorite shade, I think. It definitely has a hint of like lilac in it, but this is a duochrome shade. This combination would just give you the most stunning, like elevated, very glamorous look. I really, really like this palette. If you are looking for something a little bit more curated, quality is very, very good. I did want to do an honorable mention. This palette, I believe, is no longer available. I think it was launched for Ulta specifically. I know a lot of people purchase this palette and have in their collections. This is definitely a palette that is very fall, very like jewel tones, like some of these like rich colors. These shades are just absolutely stunning. So if you have this palette, this is your sign to take it out. Look how pretty these are. So beautiful. This is definitely your like punchy burgundy, rosy type of look. Another palette that I wanted to mention is Corderosa from Sigma Beauty. This is a palette that's a little bit lighter and definitely gives you like more of a spring vibe. However, this has some beautiful rosy tones and some beautiful burgundy. And this shimmer right here would do the job. And this one also, but it's a little bit more on a neutral side. Very pretty combination. Let's just swatch these two. Look at four of these colors together. This would be such a beautiful look. I like using this palette in the spring more so. However, I definitely think of some of these burgundy and rosy and gold tones during the fall as well. Then I have a Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. This is a palette that this side is a little bit more neutral and this side definitely is a little bit more your burgundy, like neutral burgundy, leaning a little bit more on a warmer side. Again, stunning shimmers here and mattes are just so wonderful to work with. Again, this is a palette that doesn't swatch great. However, this is a palette that is a colorful option for a neutrals lover. For example, like this section right here would definitely give you a little bit of that, like the burgundy feel, but it's not gonna be like overwhelming color if you are a neutrals lover. Here's another palette that I recently talked about in my video, Sigma New Mod. This is a palette that is a little 
little bit more mauve and some of the shades definitely lean a little bit more purple on me so I wouldn't say this is necessarily a super burgundy palette however this palette is quite special in my collection because it is a cooler tone and it also leans a tiny bit purple on me it is very soft very feminine very romantic yet giving you a little bit of uh, soft glam but again depending on your skin tone this shades may come off slightly bit different on me they pull purple in the palette they look a little bit more rosy now let's talk about some of the luxury eyeshadow palettes here and the first one to go is Natasha Denona retro palette this video would not be complete without this eyeshadow palette this is a pretty monochromatic palette it has incredible mattes some of these mattes are like cream to powder formulas they look very beautiful and nice everything is just exceptional quality everything is a great quality and blends beautifully on eyes and you definitely get a lot of burgundy shades here however a little bit of neutrality I also do have a lot of appreciation for this taupe shade I actually traveled with this specific shade quite a few times because I just think it's very very interesting shade and if you want to tone down or neutralize your colorful looks you definitely can the next one up is the naughty from huda beauty so this palette definitely looks very neutral at first however some of these shades lean more burgundy and once you pair them all together you definitely get a beautiful rosy like burgundy look the shimmers in this palette are spectacular but these ones are stunning and i really love this palette for fall season especially the next palette up is a love palette from natasha denona i did want to include it here because this is definitely burgundy and purple and you get some beautiful pinks and reds here i don't believe this palette is available on official brands website however you can still definitely get your hands on it these days the shimmers are beautiful the mattes are beautiful a very very pretty palette the next one up is pad mcgrath the divine rose 2 eyeshadow palette this this palette is considerably new to my collection i just added it this year and i think it's stunning definitely some of the burgundy warmer tone mattes here and then you got this gorgeous gorgeous shimmers this is a duochrome shade that leans a little bit more purple and it shifts uh, into green as well i really love this pink shade uh, this shade is pretty pigmented and you can definitely deepen out your outer corner and your looks with this and i really love some of these shimmers they're so beautiful and smooth and reflective this shade is spectacular to my opinion it's definitely not the most unique duochrome uh, the purple to green i think it's pretty common uh, to see from the brands these days but i still find it very beautiful as you can see here it like shifts from green to purple very very pretty i do have a few pat mcgrath palettes in my collection but this is definitely one of my favorites honorable mention to modern renaissance this is still a part of my collection this is definitely very subtle uh, formula feels a little bit outdated uh however you still get those like burgundy shades here i don't even know if this palette is available but i do reach for this palette when i don't want like a screaming burgundy looks uh this palette does not really have uh, very loud shimmers there are more of your satin finishes here so it's very very like modest uh however still color Colorful palette that I still enjoy. So another honorable mention to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. This palette uh, has been discontinued, but I really like these rosy tones. The shimmers here are that's like creamy on touch. I really love some of these neutral shades and like some of these rosies and burgundies. I really love that there's a black in this palette. I think that this palette is perfect for so many different occasions and especially for holidays i just definitely keep it handy so this next one is truly madly deeply from ColourPop. this is a palette that initially made me fall in love with like pink tones on my eyes even though this palette has three glitters and they're just like those rough glitters which i like i never use but i really love these uh rosy tones and it definitely leans a little bit more on a cooler tone a little bit more purple but look at these beautiful shades this shade is actually very very pretty i'm usually not a huge fan of those micro glitter matte shades but this is very pretty if you pack this on your lid it's actually very very beautiful these shades are very very stunning i also really love some spring and summer looks out of this palette so now i have very few palettes left that are more of your supporting actors your companion palettes however i thoroughly enjoy them because the quality is superb the first one is anastasia beverly hills rose metals this was launched last year and this is one of my favorite palettes for the grungy smoky eye looks i think that the quality is exceptional the shimmers are beautiful the mattes are beautiful but i specifically wanted to show you this color because we are talking about burgundies and there are definitely some coolness and warmness going on within this palette that you can kind of manipulate depending what you're what look you're looking for and this is such a beautiful like rich burgundy like murky grungy tone so this palette 
primarily is a neutral palette. However, you do get these beautiful, almost like muted pops of color in a way. So a lot of times I'm also guilty of that. When I would have a palette that I know would have those like specific, like maybe one uh, shimmer, and I tend to forget about them because overall in my mind, I would think of this palette as a neutral. And this is just a reminder for you to go through your collections and uh, maybe sometimes like swatch your palettes, uh, remind yourself what the shades look like, especially going into holiday seasons, to be more excited to uh, create beautiful looks for your celebrations and events and outings, etc. This is one of these palettes that would have those specific colorful shades. What I also love about this palette is that these shimmers layer really beautifully together on top of each other and they at times start looking as duochromes. So if you have some beautiful shimmers in your collection within the palettes that you already have, try to mix your shimmers and see how they blend if the formula is like each other and they work together really well. So you can actually come up with new shimmer combinations uh, that way instead of buying new products. So in another two palettes, I'm going to talk about them together, Garden Lights and Desert Lights from Flower beauty a garden lights palette was launched just recently and it has this beautiful like lilac and some neutral shades but these two shades are just so gorgeous let me see if i can swatch them for you look at these oh my gosh so gorgeous so if you already have your stable products that you like to use and if you'd like to throw some beautiful shimmers to give you a little bit of color this is a beautiful option. Also, the Desert Lights palette has been around for some time. This is a little bit more of your monochromatic palette, but it has some beautiful, like, rosy shades. Look at these shimmers. Wow. Stunning. Do you see how it shifts from gold to rosy? Beautiful. And then this is another shade that's also very beautiful, very shifty, very pigmented. Such a rich, smooth formula, gives you a lot of reflect, definitely would be perfect for your festivities. So if you needed a companion palette, I think these ones are fabulous. Okay, now my fingers and hands are officially fully stained. So these are all the palettes that I wanted to share with you. These are the palettes that are burgundy, berry themed. There is definitely a variety of undertones here and there, just depending on what I'm looking for, which mood I'm in and what I wanna create, but I definitely have a really beautiful options. Hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to look through your collection and uh, love on your palettes and love of your makeup before you start buying new things. Let me know if you saw some of your favorites, if you have any of these palettes and you love them as much as I do, or you do have a different palette that you're really liking, share with me in the comment section below. I would love to know of what you love as well in your makeup collection. If you would like to catch up on the series or if you like to watch some of the eyeshadow palette content, there's a lot of all that on my channel. I will leave some of the playlists and the end of the video for you in the cards to enjoy and also I will have all that linked in the description box for you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!